Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to make backup images of your system and then how to restore them using a free tool called Witty Tool Disk Clone. So we did a video on this app before uh, showing how you can make a clone of your Windows operating system onto a new disk. So that way if you want to maybe copy to a bigger disk or your drive is failing, you could do that and then carry on from there. So this program will also make backup images that you could then restore if needed. So it works in the same way as the built-in Windows backup, which you could also use instead of this, of course, but if you want to try something different, you could give this a shot. All right, so once you download and install it, just open it up. Okay, so we already have a backup here. So what you would do is go to the backup section, add backup, choose your drive. Just make sure you pick the right one, obviously. So this one here is the Windows drive. So that's the one we want to back up. Of course, you could back up your other disk as well, but we're going to do the one with Windows on it. So the catch here is just to back up everything because you might think, hey, I could just back up my main partition here, the boot partition with my data on it. Then you have your other smaller partitions here with your system drive and recovery drive and that kind of thing. So we just check them all. And then you can pick your location and what you want to call it. So by default, it'll just be called My Disk Backup with the date on it. And then you browse to your path. So I already have this backed up right here. So it's 46 gigabytes, a TIB file. That's for their backup format. So I'm not going to actually click on Backup again because all that'll do is just, you know, watch the status bar go through and then we'll have this uh, backup file copied. So rather than do that, we'll pretend we've already done that and we're going to do a restore. So before we do that, let's put a new file on the desktop. So that way, when we restore our image, this should not be here when we come back because it should have gone back to the uh, image file from the backup. Okay, so we're going to do restore. You could also click on it from your jobs right here and click on restore. Same thing. So clicking on that will just take you back here. You want to browse to the uh, image which is the one I just showed you. And if you click on Restore OS for the operating system, it'll check the ones it needs. And it's been fine for me just going with the ones it wants, the system in boot, instead of these other two. But you could probably check these two as well and be fine. And then if you want to change the security ID, you could do that. So let's say you're maybe putting it in a different computer or something of the sort and you want to change this information. Probably won't, but it's an option. All right, so then you just click on Next. Okay, so now here's the tricky part. It's going to show you both drives or however many drives you have. You just need to make sure that you pick the correct drive. So in this case, the C drive is my 100 gig drive, so I don't want to restore it to this D drive because that's not going to help me out here. So I'm going to click that, and it shows you the drive. You could do a sector-by-sector -sector copy if you want. I'm going to click on Next. Gives you a little summary here of how it's going to look. Start Restore. It says the data on the target disk will be erased. So keep this in mind because your computer will be restored back to the date you made the backup. So any changes you have made since you made this image will be gone. So that's one downside of doing image backups because it's only as good as the date you made it. So a lot of people like to make multiple uh, image backups so they could go back to certain dates and of course you could just do a file backup with a different program if you just want to back up your files but for example your computer started acting funky or you got some virus or something like that and you want to roll back to a clean version you could use this all right so i'm going to click on yes okay so it says unable to complete the clone in windows you need to enter the pre os the win pe to continue because obviously you can't restore a Windows image while Windows is running. So we're going to say yes to this. Okay, so it's going to create the WinPE production environment. So this will take a few minutes, so we'll probably just pause and be back when this part's done. 
Okay, so now it's going to restart the computer into the WinPE mode. Okay, so now it's going to start the restore. Okay, so you can see it deletes the partitions. Now it's beginning the data copy for the two partitions there. So once again, we'll pause the video and then be back when this part's complete. Okay, so the restore is completed successfully. So we just click on back and then there is no real reboot thing. So you just have to click on the X and that'll restart your computer. All right, looks like it's doing some updates for some reason here. All right, let's log in, see what happens. All right, so we're back in Windows and that text file is gone. So that shows us that this was restored back to that previous date before that text file was created there. All right, so once again, Just go to the backup, add a backup, make sure you pick the right drive. If you're doing your Windows drive, make sure you choose all the partitions. I tried this previously just doing the main boot partition and then when Windows started, it gave me an error saying it needed to be repaired and it couldn't repair it. So that's why I say make sure you do the other partitions as well or at least the uh, system partition. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Witty Tool Disk Clone and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.